A new era in Las Vegas, the late 1950s, a groundbreaking time. Elvis's first show at the New Frontier, the first class at UNLV, the grand openings of the Tropicana and the Stardust. And the first broadcast signal from Lucky 13, that's us. As we celebrate 65 years in Las Vegas, this morning we're taking a look back at the early days of KTNV TV. 1956. The future king of rock and roll hits the stage in Las Vegas, one of many firsts that shaped Sin City. We market ourselves as cowboys and Indians, howdy partner, the, the, the old west. Well, that, that changed in the 50s and 60s. Las Vegas, Nevada. From the air, Vegas as they call it, looks like the small town it is. 35,000 permanent population. Seven million is the temporary population. Seven million tourists that annually pour in by bus and train and plane and that leave $122 million gross. The Sands Hotel, the, the Dunes Hotel, the last frontier became the new frontier hotel, the Sahara. So we, we dropped that cowboy and Indian in marketing and image. And that's, that's really when Channel 13 was, was born, as Las Vegas was moving to more of a, a modern uh, a perspective. Lucky 13, KSHO TV took to the airwaves on May 4th, 1956, broadcasting from our antenna on top of the brand new Fremont Hotel. There's enough circulation in that man to start a shortage in the ink market. In what man? John Doe. Now, again, 13 started uh, uh, in its first year or so as, as a movie station. It showed films, sometimes the same film would be seen in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, so the different working shifts would be able to see, the, to see that uh, film. The station was started by a newspaper publisher, Morris Zinoff. He ran the Boulder City News and Henderson Home News in the late 1940s, but saw an opportunity in television. He seemed like just a person that believed in, in, in Southern Nevada, the community of Las Vegas, in Henderson, and was a, a positive part of, of, of the community. Uh, he brought that positive energy. I don't care w what you're doing, if you were going to start a television station in the early 1960s, you have to have a, a, a lot of energy and a lot of b belief that you see the future. Robert Stodall started his career in television at Lucky 13 in 1964 as fill-in sportscaster and weather anchor. He says Zinoff sold the station shortly after he established it in 1956. And after that, it switched hands between a colorful group of owners. I think it was purchased by, by business people, not broadcasters and they simply saw it as an opportunity to sell advertising. Zinov sold KSHO-TV to Television Corporation of America for $200,000, and the station moved to the El Rancho Hotel, and in just one year, that company cashed out, leaving the station to three familiar Las Vegas names, Nathan Adelson, his son Mervyn, and Erwin Malaski, for only 70 grand. The Molaski family, they were primarily into real estate and building and, and, and development, and, and they, they saw this as, as an opportunity. The Adelsons and Molaski sold just two years later, and the finances took a deep dive. The station's new owners filed for bankruptcy in the early 60s, and on top of that, the FCC pulled KSHO's license. But in an effort to keep Lucky 13 on the air, the commission opened the door for another only in Vegas cast of characters to run the station temporarily. If you aren't a comic by the time you're 12, forget it. Comedian Phyllis Diller applied to be one of them, but was denied. The new group of owners eventually moved KSHO into what used to be an old refrigeration warehouse on Valley View near Desert Inn. We never left that site, but changes kept coming much like the town we cover. The town is in, in a constant state of, of change and, de and develop. So you can always remember yesterday, and yesterday was something different in Las Vegas than it is today, and, and will be tomorrow. And that's part of the excitement of Las Vegas.
walk down Dave, memory what lane a there. story. <laughs> Look at you. How that was incredible. That? I love learning all the history. Yeah, so a happy 65th birthday to Channel 13 today. By the way, we're owned by EW Scripps now, which is a great company. Tune in for our special coverage of our station's history, how we covered Las Vegas through the decades, all this month on Channel 13 Action News, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. So, wow. I love it. Thank you for memories. doing that. That was oh, incredible. Yeah, that was fun. And you said that he offered you your first job here in Vegas, uh, too? Well, no, not my first job. Not my second job. job. Second job. <laughs> second job. So you go way Bob, back there. Bob's a big history buff and likes is big into preservation of history in Las Vegas. So he was the perfect guy to interview for this story. I love this. Great yeah. story, Dave. Thank yeah. you. Okay.